What is going on everybody? Tom here from Six Four Media and today we're going to be going over how you can make a quick and easy grid so that you can make pixel perfect um, presentations, layouts, whatever, um, really simply. And I'm also going to, this is going to be a two Photoshop quick tip. I'm going to have two quick tips in this one. So be sure you watch it all because the other one's not going to have it until later. So first off, let me go ahead and delete this uh, grid that I have here. And we're going to start from scratch. Um, so now let's apply the grid or create the grid. So you want to go File, New. That's Control n if you want to use shortcuts. Uh, depending on how big you want your grid to be, I personally like working with a 10 by 10 pixel grid, and I'll explain that later with our second quick tip. Uh, but you can use 20 by 20, 30 by 30, 40 by 40, 50 by 50, 22 by 22, whatever you really want, really. Uh, all that matters is that you come down into this new file. You delete the background layer so that we can get some opacity. Uh, get some, uh, you have to create a new layer to delete the original. But here we have a completely non-existent transparent layer. Um, be sure that whenever you use a color for this, you use something that's going to stand out. Like before I had this color right here, this uh, E74C3C, if you would like to use the hexadecimal code. Um, it's like a pale orangish red, so it doesn't hurt your eyes, but it's there. It's easy to see. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color. And then come in up here to the pencil tool size of one pixel and a hardness of 100%. All right. Now, depending on how you do this, it will depend on how you want to lay out your um, layers. So I personally like using it on the bottom and the rightmost row. You can just do the bottom or you can just do the rightmost row. It depends on what you need alignment wise. So right now I'm just showing you guys how to make a grid. You could just make horizontal rules or vertical rules depending on what you need. But this is how you make a grid right here. So now I'll explain this here in a second, but do note that I have it on the bottom and the rightmost line. Okay. So now go up to edit and we're going to define the pattern. And we'll just call this by a 10 by 10 um, PX grid. And then we'll just hit OK. And then we'll come back over to our original file. And then we'll want to create a new fill or pattern layer. And then we'll come up here, click Pattern, and it should be the most recent since we just made it. But if not, just come down into your palette and select it. Uh, and then just hit OK. And you'll realize this is a little bit too inviting. So we'll just want to turn down the opacity here. Um, I like using 25. It really just, it makes it to where you can see it, but it's not overwhelming. OK, next up, let's go ahead and zoom in here. And here is where I do some explaining, OK? This grid... Um, Get the move tool on you can move and align your layers specifically on this grid so everything will just line up nicely so you can get everything pixel perfect with your layout and actually since i have this here let's go ahead and move into the second quick tip um this one's actually really easy and really yeah that was loud simple <laughs> to explain um so you'll see here i'm on this line right here i actually place a guide on it uh Okay, actually I do have something to explain real quick. You remember how I said that I placed the lines on the bottom and the right most? Okay, so you'll see here I have my font resting. Actually, I don't even have that right. I wanted to be right there. I have my font resting on that bottom line. I don't have it resting on a top line. Okay, now since I did that, uh, the bottom line represents the 10th pixel. So therefore I rested on the bottom line to adjust it to the 10th. If you did it on the top, you'd want to just take it up one. Okay. You'd, you'd want it off the color. So since we did it on top, the line itself represents the 10th line and it's the same with the right as well. So since we have that explained, let's go ahead and pop back out here and we have our guide right here representing. So if we just hold shift, this is the second quick tip and I'm telling you this is very quick. We just hold shift and we use the arrow keys to move this about. It will actually move by 10 pixels, no matter how we move it. So this is something I use day in and day out with uh, web design. It's just, it's a joy to use. It makes everything really easy. You know, you just, dupl I keep getting that wrong, I'm using the Mac commands. Duplicate the layer, come down here to the bottom line, and then you just, you know, one, two, three, and then you have some nice spacing. So it, it's a really, Simple and easy to use quick tip. So hopefully this video taught you all something that you didn't know. Um, if it did, please let me know down in the comments. I'd like I'd love to know how helpful these are. 
But uh, yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. Other than that, I will see you all later. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Peace out.